going on, people? Yeah, man, I've been, uh, people may ask me, what do I do for pleasure time and stuff like that? Um, I focus, my most of my life is just last couple of months and weeks, I would say, just been trying to examine myself to see where I'm at with my spiritual walk and who I am as a person, you know what I mean? Um, I'm learning different things, but I'm just trying to process it right now. But at the same time, I've been focusing on not putting the wrong information out. I've also been focusing on enlightening my people when it comes to biblical and, and spiritual thing. I do that too. But I there there be times, you know, I'm a normal, I think, you know, a normal person. Uh, I think about pleasurable things, but I, tr but uh, as long as it ain't going off and it's not going against God's commandments and going against God and, you know, if I'm satisfying him, now when I start to go off with certain things or something like that, especially keeping myself, like, unspotted from the things of this world, you know, and then stress, one, doubt, all that kind of stuff plays a big part in it, you know what I'm saying? Um, in all in what I'm doing and living on this planet, I do try my best is to meditate and to think about uh, what what is my purpose on this planet, you know? You know what I'm saying? Being the chosen one of God is the most important thing. If God didn't chose, chose a certain nation of people to be his chosen people, like the nation of Israel, then, it, 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 you know what I'm saying? It, it's basically, it's pointless living. Or whatever, you know, but it's very important to know where you come from. So those are the things that I've been focusing on and focusing on just examining myself. It hasn't been easy, no. It has not been easy. I feel like it's, it, it, it feels like a cleansing. You see what I'm saying? Because I made up my mind um, in December before the year ended that when I go into next year, talking about this year, 2022, I was going to put away every sin put away everything, everything that is not right according to the Most High, anything that is deceitful, anything that I'm hiding, anybody that I refuse to forgive or unknown or un any unconfessed sin in any kind of way, wearing my beard, you know what I mean? Not shaving it off and all that, although I've been keeping it on all, I think, I believe all last year, I think. I think I've been doing, I think I was doing it all, uh, um, of the start in 2020, I believe. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the videos and see. But uh, I do be, uh, I do wear it. You see what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I'm striving to, like, to to do better. You know what I'm saying? And to uh, love my people, love my brother as as the Bible asked me to. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let me read it. And what I'm doing, I'm actually, like I said, I'm going to start this year and do it. And I was going to put this into action, not just read it, but I, I'm, I'm just trying to actually encourage myself and build myself up in the faith. You see what I'm saying? And I'm happy about doing it. And I'm, you know what I mean? I still got a lot, a lot of ways to go, but I'm taking my time. Um, you know what I'm saying? I want to truly love my brother. I don't want to hate my brother. At all, because the Bible says that. Uh, well, I'm, I'm coming to it in a minute. Let me go to a little bit. I didn't intend to go here, but this is where it took me. You know. But I'm gonna be doing some other videos on some other stuff. So just hold tight. But you know, we can't forget about the Most High because it ain't nothing to be played with. Let's read. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. The Bible says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and, and not 
self-esteem for them here. If we love them, we're going to tell them what they fault, but we're going to do it in, in, in the love of the Most High. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. That's another one. I don't want to be doing that. That's not healthy. You see what I'm saying? You know, I don't want to bear any grudge. I want to hold something in my in my heart against my brother. You know what I'm saying? Or my sister. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Let's go back up and let's read verse 16. This is important too. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tail bearer amongst thy people. That means going around lying and just revealing secrets and going around stirring up discord and all that kind of stuff. She say, he say. That type of stuff, the Most High hates that. It says in Leviticus 19, verse 16, Thou shalt not Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer amongst thy people. Neither shall thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. You know, don't 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 see do it. Go against your neighbor for some money. You know what I'm saying? Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and and not suffer sin upon him. That's talking about your Hebrew brother. It ain't talking about everybody. It's only talking about the Israelites. Don't hate your brother. He said, thy people. Thy people, that's a possessive word, pronoun. You know, I learned that from, from, the, from the brothers that be on the streets. Um, so, I guess that's it. I didn't intend to go here. But you know what I'm saying. We can talk about some other stuff. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Maybe I can do that. I can talk about, uh, open up with a spiritual sent and then go into something else but put the spiritual part first you see what i'm saying so that's what i try to do you know what i mean i can um, but i'm gonna only do this on s certain channels like my real hebrew brothers my real hebrew brothers it's that's that's the channel that it's called so i'm gonna see y'all later and we going to talk later and uh you know if y'all have any comments post them in the comment section i love y'all as my brothers so-called Hispanics, Native Americans, and Blacks. I love y'all. And uh, I don't take, I believe I do because before I came into this truth, I always knew it was something special about the Black woman and the Black man that I love. You know what I mean? I always wanted to be with a Black woman. They, 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 they are the most beautiful people on the planet. You see what I'm saying? So I love them and um, I love our brothers and sisters. I just... We just come from a beautiful culture, man, and I love that. All right, I'm going to see y'all later. I'm out.